What's good, YouTube? This is Knowledge, and I'm coming at you from my car today. I'm a day late. No, I'm two days late. And the reason being is because I was dealing with one of my biggest pet peeves, arguing. We all go through it sometimes when we're in relationships, and we're not seeing eye to eye with each other. We have been arguing from, like, <laughs> Friday night until... Until really last night, we finally made up and we finally got back to us. And I really just wasn't really in the mood to make a video. And I apologize to you guys for that because, you know, this is my commitment that I made. And so we're going to talk about what are my pet peeves. And here you go. From the top. First one would have to be preteens playing online video games and if you've ever played Halo or you know a game like World of Warcraft or something like that then you probably already know what I'm talking about um, preteens are in a, in a group class all by themselves they're very foul mouthed and sexist um, yeah they're just they act like they have no home training I know that they have home training but they act like they have none and it's probably because their parents have no idea what these video games are and I know when I was like 13 I was playing video games. People who wear tank tops in 45 degree weather like what is up with that and people do that in Chicago believe it or not and I always wonder I'm like, are they from like Alaska or some shit where you know it's 45 degrees is, is like 80 I don't know that that it's not like actually a pet peeve it's just like women oh, who do not replace the toilet paper roll after they have depleted it if you don't do that, you should do that. Everybody else who has to use that toilet after you get through with it, you should replace the empty toilet paper roll. Unless you, like, genuinely forget. But if you purposely leave it empty, that's yeah. messed up. People who are prudes, like, people who, not people who are asexual, but people who are just straight up prudes about sex. Like, they enjoy sex when they're having it. But when they're not having it, they don't want to hear about it. They are, they like, will cop an attitude with you when you talk to them about it. And it's like, damn, why you got to be approved? It's not cool. You need to get that starch out your back. That's what you need to do. Okay, whispering to me during a movie. If you've ever done that to me, you've probably felt the wrath of my whispered reply in the movie theater. I hate that. People taking advantage of others' weaknesses everyday people take advantage of other people's weaknesses and it's a pet peeve of mine and yeah, it's not cool you know people do it just to, to fulfill their own wants and needs it's, it's usually not you know at the, toward the benefit of the person being taken advantage of conservative talk true. radio and television Glenn Beck uh, Michael Savage Bill O'Reilly those kind of shows that spread like negativity and hatred and you know racism and the people that feed into them like wow these people are taking what they hear on these shows at face value and they're like, you know, spouting this shit out when they're engaged in debate with you about politics and things like that. And it's like, you get your talking points from conservative talk radio and you're honestly trying to debate a political subject. It's not going to work because talking points are so easy to, to, to uh, debate against. It's, it's ridiculous. People who get in front of you and then walk really slow. Like, what is up as if, you know, you should be happy to be walking behind them because you are you know giving they're giving you more time to to view your surroundings if you have ever made a website or had your own domain you might could possibly have been hacked before I know I have and I hate hackers not only is hacking a pet peeve for me I have hatred in my heart for hackers like seriously why do you do this shit to people like just normal you know, everyday regular people who are just trying to make a website and, and trying to you know, put their writing out there and you hack them. I hate hackers. And they are my biggest pet peeve. Yes. Another one, hair in my food. That is probably my number one pet peeve. If I've said any other pet peeve is my number one pet peeve, I lied. Hair in my food. That, anything in my food that is unusual or out of the ordinary, the food is going in the garbage. Like... 
it's I can't I can't handle that at all like it, it really disturbs me and it angers me especially when it's takeout I mean if it's something that I made odds are it's my hair and I'll, I'm, I'll probably just pick off that I'll take off that whole section and not eat it and but if it's like someone's hair that I don't know like ew people who litter and not only people who litter but people who litter out of my car you know they're opening their package of food or something like that and they like toss it out of my car out of the window dude don't litter out of my car I do not litter I don't believe in littering that I don't get down with the litter Have you ever been to the sex shop and you bought like some of those little loop containers little lube tubes or whatever and I mean they're usually like they like a dollar they're like you know, they're not that big but for that little bitty tube of lube that you're paying for you expect that that lube juice to you know to last a little longer and it never does like I hate that spelling and grammar that is poor on purpose like you're purposely misspelling words and I mean there's nothing worse than a beautiful poem that is littered with poor grammar and poor spelling and that is just written as if you're texting it to someone you have something really beautiful to say like you should really care about your grammar and your spelling and you know people will then take you very seriously skinny people who think they're fat really you're skinny fat it's like dude you're just as bad as, as a fat person who thinks they're skinny by wearing clothes that are two sizes too um small and it's like just no you're fucking skinny you're period people who whine and complain about things that they can actually change like about their situation in life the job that they're working at their lack of access to resources because of lack of education or what have you if you don't like the neighborhood you're living in do everything in your power to find a way out i know a lot of people are like oh that's easier said than done but you know complaining is easier said than done too and you know complaining about wanting things to get better and not doing anything about it uh, that never really worked people who just like hate labels like <laughs> I think that's probably ranks up there top three pet peeves are, are label haters um, that could probably have been my video because it's been done so many times and it's been beautifully done by so many people already on YouTube and yeah, label haters, come on now. Thanks for listening. Appreciate you guys for sticking with me. Tune in for next week. Another 50 fun facts coming up. So I'm going to come up with 50 different ones and the ones that I posted on my personal page. Peace and love, everybody. Have an awesome week.